If you're going to give people extra outs, they're going to take advantage of that. Joining me now live from Fenway Park is Adam Duvall, the hero that you saw just there. And Adam, you said that you just wanted the opportunity. Take me through the mindset of a hitter in the box in that moment. Well, it was uh, eerily similar to uh, the game before um, where there was an error right before me uh, and came up with a chance to win the game and uh, fell a little short uh, the first game. So uh, just to be able to get that same opportunity, it was almost a weird feeling like something good was going to happen. And, um, you know, I, I felt like I stuck to my plan a little better than I did the first night and uh, got something good to hit and, and put the barrel on it. But the blast capped a two home run four hit day for you. So you're in the zone in that moment. What does that feel like as a, as a hitter? Yeah, I mean, you know, everything just slows down. Uh, you, you feel present. Um, you know, you are where your feet are. And, and uh, just being able to be in that moment uh, at that at that instant was was pretty cool because obviously the game was on the line. And, um, you know, I felt good going into that at bat. You now have six extra base hits in your first three games, which is a historic mark and it sets a record. That's part of the reason why you are the American League Player of the Week presented by Chevrolet. But this is your 10th season in the bigs, Adam, but just your first with the Red Sox. Any additional pressure playing there? Uh, no, I mean, you know, you, f you focus on uh, just trying to, you know, do what you do well. Um, and for me, that's driving in runs um, and, and trying to play good defense. And uh, I think uh, no matter where you're at, that's the focus and the focus is on that and, and not necessarily, um, you know, everything else. So I think just being present, having a plan, an approach and, and sticking to it, uh, you know, helps with all that. You know, you've said that two times, staying with the plan, sticking with your approach. I would imagine if it's the bottom of the ninth, you have this extra opportunity, it could be easy to get out of your approach. How do you slow the game yeah. down? Well, you know, I think that's kind of what happened the first night, uh, you know, where I came up with a chance to win the game and it ended up uh, uh, getting out. But I felt like I, I wanted I swung at what he wanted me to swing at. And, um, you know, I think the second night I was a little bit more prepared. I'd been in the situation. I would seen the pitcher. And um, so I felt more confident and more um, you know, just in place during that at bat. And, and like I said, I felt like something good was going to happen. And uh, eventually it did. <laughs> 20 home runs, Adam, and 68 runs so far in five games at Fenway. You've been in the league a long time. Does it feel like Fenway Park is playing a little bit more like Great American Ballpark? I didn't think you could score that many runs yeah. there. Yeah, no, I, talking to the guys, they say, you know, the ball doesn't normally fly this early in the season. Uh, it's It's been super windy, I can say that, because <laughs> every part of my body is wind burnt. So, um, you know, I think that plays a factor. I think I think the wind was blowing in a little bit last night, and we saw some effects of that as, as far as uh, runs being scored. So, um, you know, I think, you know, as, a, as an approach from a team standpoint, you know, we're just trying to be tough outs all the way up through th through the through the lineup and, um, you know, make it tough on that pitcher to, to get through the lineup and get his pitch count up and get to the bullpen. And um, like I said, just be tough outs. All right, you got Corey Kluber going for you guys. I want to ask you what it's been like for you just watching him uh, go about his business. And, you know, he the velocity uh, is there. Uh, the location is there. What's that been like? I mean, it's been awesome to see him do his thing. Uh, just talk about a guy who is just low key, just steady, um, you know, doesn't get too up, too down. Uh, just just a professional all the way around, just watching him do his work. It's like I said, it's been awesome to see that and uh, be around that. And I think it's great for the team as well. All right, your position players amongst yourself. Tell me a little bit what it's been like just kind of getting to know Kike Hernandez a little bit. Obviously, Rafael Devers is there for the long haul, Justin Turner. Just give me more of a sense, Adam, of what this group of guys is like, because I know in talking to some of your teammates, they said last year was not acceptable for them. So what's that message been like for you? 
I mean, it's been awesome to be around those guys. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know, before the game, it's uh, probably the first time that I've seen a group of guys that get together and, and just talk about a plan and talk about an approach and how to, how, you know, how, how to have success that night against that pitcher. And, um, you know, it feels like a really good group as far as uh, being able to communicate with each other and, and all be on the same page. So, uh, like I said, I'm looking forward to go to war each day with these guys and, um, you know, I think it's going to be fun. You talked about communicating with each other, and I love watching Yoshida go about his business. Masataka Yoshida, Adam, I don't know if you know this because you guys don't necessarily pay attention to stats like we do, has an RBI in four of his first Major League Baseball games. He has also reached base four times on an error this year. What's it been like watching him go about his business? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you know, hitting behind him, I've seen that. It's, uh, you know, I think, you know, he just puts the ball in play, I think. And when you do that, you know, you're putting pressure on the defense. Um, and so, you know, that's what he does well. And, and the power, the power's there. Um, you know, obviously the opposite field home run uh, is first of his MLB career, which was pretty cool. Um, you know, the power's there. It's been fun to watch. And I'm excited to see what he can do the rest of the season. Adam Duvall, the American League Player of the Week, eight for 14, six extra base hits so far, continued success. We appreciate you taking the time. I know it's cold uh, in Fenway. I'm right <laughs> down the road from you. So go back inside. Thanks for the time, Adam. All right. Thank you. Thanks for having me.